Hi, welcome to Daddy Kerb's farm. A lot of times in the winter I do projects like repairing fences and decks and I end up with a lot of scrap. So today I'm going to show you how to build this birdhouse using the scrap ends of fence boards. Now I wanted to use the dimensions of the fence board as they are without a lot of manipulation so that I could get the most out of the scraps. So I did a quick sketch of the dimensions that I would need to build this birdhouse. I wanted to be able to use the full five and a half inch width of the fence board. Each of the fence boards are three quarters of an inch thick. By putting a fence board on the front and the back that makes the full width seven inches. So I decided to make the base nine inches and I kept the dog ear, the little cut corners, just for looks on that bottom piece. I'm starting with a nine inch base. That's this piece here. I'm making my side walls nine inches tall. That's completely up to you. They could be taller or shorter. This front board is 12 inches from the top of the peak to the bottom. So we're going to cut two boards off at 12 inches. With a miter saw, you can easily set your angles to 45 degrees. Then you find the center of the board. This is a five and a half inch board. So it's going to be a two and three quarter inch center. Now we can just do our 45 degree angles. Now we're going to put our box together, the, the main house portion of the birdhouse. Just lining these pieces up. Now I'm using self-tapping deck screws that will go into the wood and countersink itself without splitting the wood. If you're using just a regular wood screw or a drywall screw, you're going to have to drill a pilot hole so you don't split the wood. Now with the sides and fronts all attached with a total of eight screws, we're going to put the base on. I'm choosing to align the back of the base with the back of the birdhouse to give them about a two inch front porch. Okay, with the base and the main birdhouse all put together, we're ready to make the roof. I made the roof boards 10 inches long so they would overlap on the front and the back. The overlap on the front will be about the same as the front porch and then about an inch overhang on the back. Notice on the roof how they join up. This board has to be three quarters of an inch smaller than this one. This is the full five and a half inches so we're going to take three quarters of an inch off of one of the roof pieces. I'm going to find that dimension easily by lining up the two boards and then just drawing a line on the inside. Now we're going to line these boards up and put two screws in the top. Now with the roof together we can just set it on top. Now when I put this on there I'm going to screw into these. So either measure, or if you're good at eyeballing that distance, you can just set it on and put those screws in. Now the main birdhouse is all put together. We're going to put a hole in the front and we're just about done. For the entry hole, I'm using a hole saw that has these removable blades. That makes it a lot easier to remove the wood piece that's likely going to get stuck in the middle of it. Now if you're going to get technical and specific, you'll want to look up the breed that you're targeting, the type, the bird species that you're targeting, and find out what hole size that they prefer. Mine's going to be used for decoration, so I'm not terribly concerned about getting the exact right size hole or placement. I'm just going to do it where I think it looks good. There you have it. There's your cedar fence board birdhouses made from scrap. Very little cost beyond the original project and a lot of fun. Now you can get creative. You can paint it, 
put some signs on it, hang it in a tree, put it on your porch, or decorate inside your house with it. Whatever you do, it's good that you used your scrap materials to make something fun and purposeful. Thanks for joining me here on the Daddy Kirk's Farm. I'll talk to you soon.